first district. famous Waikiki, we're on Waikiki Beach with the sunset uh, on Waikiki Beach. There have been a lot of marches for uh, Trayvon. Now I noticed some other names here. There's uh, Colin Elderts, and there's another name. What what ties these together? Why, why are we doing them all together? Why are you together? doing them yeah. all together? Uh, well, one, one thing we've heard all the time as well, our race issues aren't as bad in Hawaii. You know, I mean, the, Hawaii, the Trayvon Martin case struck a real chord with black people across the U.S. and around the world who know about the slavery, about the racism in the U.S. But not many people really connect that, that it's the same racist system that killed Colin Elderts when a white uh, special agent came to Hawaii with Asian development with the uh, <laughs> Oh, the Asia, APEC, Asia sorry, Pacific, wrong one. Asia Pacific, Asia Pacific Economic, Economic Cooperation, Cooperation Meeting, <laughs> right. and uh, a special agent came out, and he was briefed to be careful of, lo of of locals, and he was given a racist briefing. He went out that night. He got in an altercation. He was looking for trouble with brown people, and he shot or, and he shot uh, Colin Elderts in the chest. I mean, there's, there's the occupation of Hawaii and the anger that this uh, racist killing brought about in Hawaii. And yes, there's a little different history, but both of them have a history of racism at the hands of the U.S. government. This is a racist system. Then the new person that we added just because it just happened was Stefan Dinan. And he's a young local guy, 35 years old, with two small children. Uh, he was in Waimanalo. A uh, cop suspected him of um, stealing a truck, which he didn't do, but that's beside the point. They took him down, they choked him, uh, they, they injured his neck, he died of asphyxiation and bruises to his body. Uh, uh, that cop today is walking free. Now I just read on the news that the, the medical examiner ruled that a homicide. Yeah, the, they ruled, first the medical uh, uh, the first report by the medical examiner said that uh, he had no assaultive injuries. And then newspapers across the U.S. and around the world picked that up. It was on like the Chronicle, Seattle Times, all of these newspapers, and ridiculed Hawaii for saying that because the picture of him showed him on life support with his face swollen up, his eyes black, uh, bruised all over his arms, swelled up, and brain dead. And they said, this is what's happening in Honolulu. So then right. the medical while, examiner... While he was in uh, police custody. All yeah, while, he, all was while he was in police custody. And now the medical examiner, I think, has been forced to come out saying that it was actually a homicide and he died of uh, asphyxiation or choking. So, okay, uh, now you know, I get once while there again, are, there are you have this whole uh, issue of black and brown people who are being killed, who are being stopped and frisked, who are going to jail in incredible numbers, 2.3 million, most of them black, Latino, brown, 
people who are in jails across the U.S. And uh, this, this racism has to end. I think that it's not going to end until millions of people take to the streets, until there's a massive movement of resistance, and ultimately I believe it's going to take revolution in getting rid of this whole fucking system. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you.